Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday morning and we're going to read together from God's Word as we continue our readings for Lent. This morning we again are in John chapter 5 and we are reading from verse 31 to the end of the chapter. We small reading but let's read it together. Let's hear God's Word. If I were to testify on my own behalf, my testimony would not be valid. But someone else is also testifying about me. And I assure you that whatever he says about me is true. In fact, you sent investigators to listen to John the Baptist and his testimony about me was true. Of course, I have no need of human witnesses, but I say these things so you might be saved. John was like a burning and shining lamp and you were excited for a while about his message. But I have a greater witness than John, my teachings and my miracles. The Father gave me these works to accomplish and they proved that he sent me. And the Father who sent me has testified about me himself. You have never heard his voice or seen him face to face. And you do not have his message in your hearts because you do not believe me, the one he sent to you. You search the scriptures because you think they give you eternal life. But the scriptures point to me. Yet you refuse to come to me to receive this life. Your approval means nothing to me, because I know you don't have God's love within you. For I have come to you, and you have rejected me. Yet if others come in their own name, you gladly welcome them. No wonder you can't believe. For you gladly honour each other, but you don't care about the honour that comes from the one who alone is God. Yet it isn't I who accuse you before the Father. Moses will accuse you. Yes, Moses in whom you put your hopes. If you really believed Moses, you believe me because he wrote about me. But since you don't believe what he wrote, how will you believe what I say? Amen. Jesus is quite harsh in what he says. He's condemning the people, but he's condemning them for the right reason, because they won't believe. You know, we, we quite often want um, physical evidence in front of us for everything, don't we? Um, but even science, something that we rely on so heavily, a lot of what is in science goes on faith or trust or understanding or interpretation. And it's the same for us with the Bible, we have to trust what it says, believe what it says, um, to get to where it wants to take us. Jesus points to Moses, somebody who the Israelites um, trusted and believed in, one of their forefathers, one of, one of their founding members who, who they had great faith in. And he says, look, he, he wrote about me and yet you won't trust. You know, the Bible and Jesus talks about how if we're going to follow him, we need to have the faith of a child, that simple faith, and just trust what he says. And that's what he wants us to do. Don't complicate things. Don't make things more difficult than what they need to be. Simply trust. Today is all about trusting God. Lent is all about trusting God, trusting that Jesus was who he said he was, that he came to do what he said he would do, and that he did achieve that. So let's give thanks for that this morning. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for your word. Just teach us simply, Lord, to have faith in you, to trust you and to trust what you're saying. Lord, go with us this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Sorry if the transmission cut out. Um, it did say at one stage we'd lost connection and then it picked it back up again. So hopefully you were able to keep going and, and watch. Uh, but in the meantime, have a really good day um, and may you know God's peace and blessing. But I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Take care for now. Bye.